Hello, lurkers, and all you archaeologists. I'm John Proxy. You are especially appropriate for this game, because this is a game all about taking photographs of ghosts. Yes, I'm having a Project Zero adventure, or Fatal Frame adventure, as I'm going to continue to calling it. And, uh, I, I, I could press the start button. I mean, I can press... I guess that's a start button. doesn't really have a start button. Uh, and we could load our game. Uh... I'm gonna use the this 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 instead though to load my game. Um, I should have used both. Let's see where this takes us. Cause I seem to remember just parking myself, parking myself in a. You know what? I should have just loaded my game. I should have just loaded my game. Hmm. I mean, I could still do that presumably. If I could just remember how to. Like, yeah, I could just I could just go back to the title screen like that. Right. Oh, a little bit of fat for the beginning because uh, there might be a couple of people who want to turn up. Who knows? For the end of Fatal Frame, the, the, the first Fatal Frame. Uh, I, I think this is the end anyway. Eight thirty-three is the. Did I do that twice? Eight thirty-three. Are they both eight thirty-three? That's eight thirty-six. We'll check out eight thirty-six. I will have no calamity in the calamity room, thank you very much. There was a chance that I was just too lazy to load the proper game. Let's press F9. Let's see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I thought I parked myself in the correct place, but maybe I didn't. Uh, we'll know. 8.37. Well, we'll just look at the... It's, it's bound to be slot. It's this one I just checked out. Let's, let's... How long is this game? 8.50. Well, that's already, uh, you know, a, a better sign. Um, why would I have parked myself here? This is a weird place to park myself. Oh, yeah. Where are we going? I have no idea where we're going. <laughs> I, I swear I had a plan. You know what I did? Uh, so we look at the map. Oh, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, sorry. Uh, on a different stream, I parked myself there. So I could run towards that and do the second boss. But uh, we're not at the third boss yet. We are at, like, some mini-bosses. You see, you see, four dudes, four priests, were involved in the incident back in the day. What what incident? Oh, there was a special function. There might have been. Who knows if there was a special function. Uh, what does the special function do? I've never seen this. I, am I about to get special functions? Uh... I don't know. Uh, it's... We look at the correlation, of course. Just to remind ourselves what's going on. Well, we we control the character of Miku Hidasaki, and she came to the mansion to search for M Mafuyu. And his his Mafuyu. Uh, he that's Miku's brother. I wonder how long it's been since me and my brother went to the mansion. Uh, Miku's brother. He learned the truth behind the curse of Hima. Himuro Mansion, and he's working to break the curse. So that's good, it's good for him. There's Miku's mother. Uh, she, she's 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 a mother. Mother! Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm, damn it, I was going to have the video so I could do that, and I forgot to do it. It's always relevant. <laughs> sorry, I'm quoting from a fancy movie. Uh, anyway, we, she gave us a magical camera, uh, and she looks pretty darn similar. Pretty darn similar to someone else's mother, actually. Not you. Yay! It's yay, but whatever. Uh, anyway. But uh, that's not the reason Mafuyu originally went in, right? He was originally going in because he's got like a teacher, right? Well, not, he's called Koji. He's an editor. He he, he was uh, doing research. No, that's uh, Jonsei Takamina. Yeah, yeah. He, he, was, he was a mysterious novelist who visited Himuro Mansion and he disappeared. And, you know, that's, that's why our brother went in. Brother! Um, and, of course, he managed to get himself cursed. And, you know, his editor, Takamine uh, Koji Ogata. Uh, so, sucks to be these two. And, of course, Tomawe uh, Hiyosaka. They turn up as ghosts every so often. Uh, yeah, bit unlucky. Bit unlucky, of course. Uh, and what... 
there was also another group before them who they were researching. You see, everyone goes in after someone else. There's no... Well, there is an original. They're right here. Uh, so there was the Munakata family. And there were scientists who decided to move in. And as we said, Yai Munakata looks just like our mother. And they both committed suicide. Uh, it was very sad. Um, Ryozo, Munakata's wife, she couldn't resist the power of Makoto's camera and took her own life. You know what? I said that in a way that sort of was, was somewhat frivolous. Uh, anyway, uh, there was this time where Makoto Munakata disappeared. Uh, and uh, yeah, she kind of uh, looks a little bit like the friendly. Maybe she's a friendly ghost, or maybe. Also, Ryoko Munakata got. He got cursed, by the way. Like everyone else gets cursed. Everyone gets cursed. Why did they cur get cursed? Well, he was a folklorist. He was researching the Himuro's rituals. There's lots of it. Well, there's three rituals, uh, let's face it, uh, which are the three chapters of the game. Uh, and, but he got killed by the ghost as well, uh, by the curse. But she's just disappeared. Now, if we go to, finally, the, it, it's all about Kyrie. Kyrie, Kyrie, Kyrie. Um, um, it was a mysterious woman named Kyrie, believed to have been involved in the rituals performed on the mansion. So the first the the first and final ritual, because it's sort of backwards and forwards, um the first ritual of course is the rope ritual, where you you, you, you strangle a person by the neck, which is a pretty good way of killing them already. You can see them noose upon a neck. But they also strangled the arms and legs, which just seems more of a way of keeping them still, but you know, it's all about imagery, right? And so when you go in when you get cursed, you, you gain those binds. Uh, you get the hands first, then the feet, then the neck. And it's the neck that kills you. So there is a ticking time a bomb. There's a limit to this. But there's also... There's this girl in white. And she, she occasionally turns up and she's like, Yeah, just over there, just over there. She doesn't get hurt by photographs. Only malicious ghosts get hurt by photographs, which is convenient. Because I... Because it means you can take photographs of people, just normal photographs. It's fine. Uh, right. Uh, I'm sure now, uh, and in case, we also have this kind of imagery here, which uh, is kind of, most of it just tells you the locations of things for puzzles. But, you know, there's some clues. There's a girl pulled into a well. And uh, there's a candlestick that's important. There's a boy pulled into a clock. Uh, magic key, of course. Uh, th those ropes. There's the dolls. And they all kind of look like they're helpful girls, you see. Uh, there's a lion mask. There's the monuments. Okay, so these, we, these, this is where we're going right now. So there's the stone monument. There's this stone burial mound. The huge stone monument, which we know where that is. And the gravestone, you see. They're all kind of pyres and monuments. Um, this one, there's, there's the picture of the editor. There's demon tag. See, demon tag was the theme of the second night, but it wasn't the second ritual, it was just the name of the second night. The sexual, uh, the, pardon? Sexual? That's not even a word, sexual. What am I trying to say? Second? Sequel? Um, anyway, there's like a mask you've got to put on, but the mask has like two goddamn stakes in, so you go, you've got to put on the mask really fast. Uh, and you go, ah, fuck, I can't see a thing! Uh, it's a terrible mask, to be honest. Uh, and that's, that's an important part of the ritual. Uh, these these are the girls that were, one of them went missing, but you can sort of see there's Yai in the uh, and look that she made friends with the helpful spooky girls of spookiness. So it might be that they're both the same girl, but one of them's a good one's evil. We'll, we'll find out. And of course, if you really want to go know everything, you're gonna go for all the scraps. We're not going for all the scraps. I read them when I picked them up. The calamity though, uh is kind of important. In fact, I'm gonna rewrite down these numbers, I think. I think I'm gonna write them down. I think that was the latest one. I wrote them down somewhere else and obviously forgot about them. Um, but yes, the strangling ritual. That was the name of the first ritual. Um, so 1837, 1312, 1347. See, uh, we lost like 1,347 souls. God, that. I mean, depending on where you are in the Dark Souls franchise, that would have been enough for a level up or two. So that's a lot of souls to lose. Um, 
It's not like 10,000 souls like I lost once. And I was gutted when I lost 10,000 souls. So let me tell you. I was like, oh, well, I definitely didn't swear. Um, let's move the cursor off the screen. We have a lot of information, which obviously... Oh, we have this research scrap. Uh, the cabinet in the moon well. I don't recognise this. Let's read this again. The mystery of the cabinet and the moon well. The moon well inside the moon shrine is hidden with a trick mechanism. The cabinet moves and it opens up the entrance to the moon well when a certain routine has been performed. But I have no idea one how this is done. There was only a vague description of the trick device. Acquire the symbols from the four, four rope pullers and show the Himuro family master's seal. Uh, well, they've got like a like a small swimming pool. I assume you know it's a fishing place with the planks. I assume that the seal lives down there. This must mean that opening the door requires the symbols carried. Well, I think it's funny to always pretend I think the other seal. It is funny to me, and that's all that matters. <laughs> it's the best thing about seals; they clap your efforts. Uh, tone, John. We'll get to the tone. I won't talk over events. I'm just doing a recap, all right? Um, I might turn the sound up a little. It's all kind of spooky noises right now, but like, still. This must mean that opening the door requires... The, 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 the. However, now that the family has ceased to exist, there is no way to knowing how to acquire either the symbols or the seal. So I either have one or two of the symbols, I think. We'll find out pretty quickly. So we look at the map. So, uh, yeah, you can see I've put myself in here for some reason. One of the pyres is in here. One of the pyres is in here. One of the pyres is in here. And one of the pyres is somewhere else. I don't know, somewhere. I'll figure it out. I'll look at the photographs. Uh, so are we ready? Are we mentally prepared? Because if we load our game, I have to do the entire explanation again. That's, that's how that works. Let's move our cursor off the screen. Remind ourselves of the controls. That is not the run button, for, for a start. This is the run button. You know, the stakes are high. She's going to jog. You know, no. Uh, a reckless fool would sprint. But she knows she's got to conserve energy. She's going to lightly jog everywhere. This is a sensible girl who will survive where others die. She's no fool, let me tell you. Oh, I think I went in here because I thought there was a save game, and then I just went, nah, I'm going to sleep. I'm going to use the alternative save. I think that's what I did. <laughs> How did they even scan Bahamut? Oh, no, I guess he only scans real people. Okay, is this the one I've done? Have I done two already? No, it's not. Oh, shit. Do I have my decent... No, no, no. We might want to, camera, at least put in, like, this film. What? I'm very... Cheeky bastard. Okay, okay, that was obviously a bad idea. Oh, the wisps. The wisps are bad. Okay, the wisps are bad. So we've learned information. We're going to load our game and we're going to try again. Understanding that the wisps are bad. Right, so we've loaded my game. I'm going to have to do the entire 20 minute introduction again. Right, hello, I'm John Foxy. Uh, uh, that's, that's, how, that's what I sound like. Uh, we could put on the stronger camera, but I feel like that would be foolish. We can take him without the stronger camera, it's fine. 
It's a pretty strong camera, just not the strongest. I believe in you, brother! He's fighting Bahamut. Yeah, we know, we know. Okay, we can't skip this. Let's mentally prepare ourselves for some deadly photography. Okay, he's doing this. He's calling shenanigans. Let's grab this. He's people on the ground. It's the priest's writings. Kyrie has been acting strangely ever since she met the young guest. This is a terrible time to be reading this, isn't this? Don't worry, ghost. I'm just reading this note. Uh, reading is a free action. I do not suppose she's attracted to him. If she becomes too deeply involved with this world because of him, she may lose her potential as a proper, a uh, proper shrine maiden. And proper shrines, as we will have to do something and quickly. Okay. Okay. You, he's, he's quite quick, to be honest. Okay, no, no, no. It's, it's that wisp. I swear he's got the power of, like, yeah, oh, there he is. Okay, well, I'm loading my game. <laughs> I don't condone cheating, brother. No. <laughs> Maybe, do you, are there like hints of our Bahamut? Rather than a guide, like a vague nudge. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna save it after the scary bit. Save game. Not one. Okay. We don't save mid fight, but we do. I can't afford to faff for too long, obviously. Because he's just going to get me regardless. Okay. Well, that's really annoying. There's an evil wisp. Fuck off, evil wisp! Just need to sort of establish a decent rhythm. Yeah, I see the wisp, I see the wisp, I see the wisp. Yeah, he's gonna throw another wisp, so I have to move again. Oh, never mind. No, what the fuck's go? Bruh? Oh, that's cool. You know what? I'll take that because that was cool. You did a cool thing. Also, he didn't take half my health, so. Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. No, try to pincer me. I'll pincer you! Hey, okay, I'm gonna take damage from the wisp. Get away. It's probably a second ghost, but whatever. Alright, it was more charming the first time around, I won't lie. Hmm. 
Cool. I think we have our second letter. But, like, that was all my health. So, uh... Right. Do we have... We have two healing things. We have some sacred... Delicious sacred water. Which we all enjoy. We have a stone mirror. So that's not great. <laughs> but perhaps we'll find some healing items along the way. I'm tempted to do the fight again, but... <sighs> We'll do it with no health. We'll see what happens. Right. So, yeah, I've done this one. And I've done this one. Let's change our camera to a crappy camera. Oh, I see it. I see where it is. It's not a camera. It's always the same camera, John. Did I do all that with a crappy camera? Well... Hang on, I, I, it was up there, I swear it was up there. Because we can see it warping. It's yay! Yay, it's yay! Uh, is that enough for a level up? No, it's not. Oh, hang on. Can I just farm these two ghosts? Hirosaka. So the second ghost, the first ghost I thought was over here. The first of the four priests. Oh. Oh shit, no. Well, fuck. You know what? I, I may have accidentally saved over the game. Let's check out the other saves. I'll slave on slave. I'll save on slot one, just in case. But yeah, because I th oh, fuck. I must have saved lo lo the wrong game. So I'll get for not checking. That's eight twenty-two. Eight fifty four. You followed the master's orders and hid the guest. Uh, I told Kyrie our guest had gone home. Uh, we will have to carry that body far, far, far away, so that the Kyrie never finds out. I feel sorry for the poor man. But what else could I do? The priests must protect the Red Maiden at all costs. So well, the implication here is that the the Shrine Maiden had a suitor, or, you know, just a reporter, to be honest. And they, they got rid of him because she's not allowed to have a life. Okay, what's our health like in this universe? So it's better, but possibly because we killed... Have we killed one or two people? <laughs> okay. So we have two universes where we've killed... Ah, oh, fine, let's just do this guy again.
Right, so I'm going to fight this guy again. Slot one. Camera. The cheeky bastard man! I think we need... For fuck's sake, John. I want to double check now, camera. Yeah, okay, so we, we've done that first ghost, and we're going to do the second ghost. Again. After we load our game. Fuck off! I had like I took a picture of you. Right, we have to be quick. That's the trick. We have to be quick, and we can't let the wisps get us. Despite the game, game like rewarding us with combos, they've just made combos basically impossible at this point. There we go. I'm gonna save now. On two, and it's two priests down. We've got more health this time. Let's drink some cold tea. We'll change the camera to the crappy one. Wisp, I'd see you. You should dissipate, god damn it. Uh, okay, I must have taken that photograph already. Where are we going? To the square garden, I think. Uh, yeah, I think that's where the next one is. Camera on. Oh, hang on. 
Let's uh not buying any bonus functions, so I barely have enough for one. Hmm. Okay, I need eighteen thousand. I'll keep that in mind. Hello, mirror. Mirror. That's really right. This guy's quite strong, isn't he? Ah, no, he's not. It's too late for me to waste health on enemies, to be honest. Hey, where's his head? <laughs> oh, fuck, fuck off, game. The dude was dead. Tried Iron Maiden. The only purpose is to be Iron Maiden. Is it my turn now? <laughs> fuck off, game. Game, you can fuck off. Fuck off, game. Game, man, you wisp it. Shouldn't hurt me, you can fuck off. I don't know what I was trying to sing there, but it was awful. Let's all pretend it never happened. Like, every time I die. Trying to be lying here and it didn't work. We're just gonna have to literally wait for a second, that goddamn second wisp to go somewhere. Not that one, of course. Sorry, I had to reset the battery because of the shaky. Sometimes it gets the shakes. Uh, maybe I'll fight him with a stronger camera. We seem to have quite a lot of fil film. He's not an important character. I might be able to just run past him. He doesn't seem to be here this time. Uh, let's put our weaker camera on. Or was that just the door? No, oh, that's a that's a villain when I, if I've ever seen one. This is why we saved our game. Hmm. 
I don't want to save scum my way through every single monster. I kind of am doing that though now, aren't I? Isn't he just going to chase me then, if I run past him? How do we get in there? Let the bodies hit the floor. Guys, we've got to save the world. Can we be really, really sketch about it? Yeah! Oh, that guy gets a nice... It's a lovely bow. Is it less cheeky if I use the internal save system for this fight? I think it is. These seem to be easier to be honest. I like that the camera gets really embarrassed if you try and put the film that's already in in. Oh. Yeah, I'll just change it to this. Can I change it to this? Oh no, you've already done it! It's already enabled! <gasps> How embarrassing! Jeez. Oh, he doesn't. Yeah, where is? Where is his head? Where's your head at? Oh, this one's neat. I like this one. And I don't appreciate that I took damage, but I like this one. What? I wonder what happens to that. Oh, I, I, I get it. I'll back off. I'll back off. I'll back off. Oh, he's in the floor. Ah. 
Oh god, he's gonna get me, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a reason why I'm being really scummy with the saves. It would be where his head would be. I get that now. And now he's going to do a floor adventure. Something shows in the photo. Looks like a letter. Cool, that's three or four. Not up. Not after it's too late. If you do it after it's too late, you've waited too long. You've got to do it before it's too late. It's a very important part of the process. There's an old book in front of the stone monument. The ritual failed. The mansion is filled with malice, and that malice is the master lose has made the master lose its sanity. Who would have thought this calamity would happen? It is all over now. There is no telling what will happen unless we find a way to close the gate before it opens completely. So, uh, I've actually got a gate that doesn't fully close, so I do relate on a certain level. What I've had to do is I've, I've had to sort of put a wedge in there that forces the gate to stay open, but it means it can't fully, it can't slam shut uh, because otherwise it, it, the wind will make it... Uh, slam in the middle of the night it annoys people so I mean we're in similar places <laughs> I'm not lying over I mean I am I'm not mi the words I said about the gate outside are, are true how they relate to the game might be uh Somewhat less relevant though. But there, uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to do a ritual of my own that involves like a industrial sander um, of some sort. But uh, it's not my duty, for fuck's sake. I, I, I'm a renter. Let's see, the same anger, the same malice. Uh, I don't actually know where the fourth room is. We're gonna have a look at the photographs. Every time I do it makes me laugh. Um, photo of character? Photo of character? Photo of character? Okay. We've done these three. These two are outside. Uh, this is in this room. Where is the gravestone? I'm going to assume it's outside. It's just the blinding room. Imagine, like, having a dedicated room in your house for, like, a ritual you do once. <sighs> we can't just blind people in the conservatory, Malcolm. You've got to blind them in the blinding room. What are you, uncivilized? You're savage. That's it. That's the entire bit. I can't bother to do it anymore. I mean, I get the mask room. If I had a mansion, I'd have a mask room as well. But it'd be like... 
you know, a Hulk mask. That's it. That's the only type of mask I can think of. <laughs> I could have just gone through more Avengers. I wanted something different and I couldn't think of it. My brain was doing it. I'm, I'm actually trying to figure out what room the... Uh, The, the grave is in. Maybe it's upstairs. Maybe it's in. The, that's the Buddha room. It's the same room. Oh, it's interesting. How does one get to there? I'm going to go back in the Buddha room. Also, yeah, the the the, the thing is, let's, let's see if we can find some cool stuff in the bottom room. I appreciate there's a dude in there, which is going to be a dick, but I'm also going to save my game as soon as I kind of get close to leaving this room again. The mask from the movie, the mask, and I don't mean the green thing, I mean like that wooden mask he finds. I remember the mask. That's not the door I wanted to open. And then every time I go in there, somebody says, John, what are you doing in the mask room? And I can say, I'm just looking for my mask. Like that. But I'd be holding the mask, not some Tupperware. He used to have cheese in the Tupperware box, not the mask. And I'd have a mask of, um, uh, I, I'd have toys from the 80s cartoon Mask, which was like a ripoff of Transformers. Um, now that I realise that that's what the word mask means, it's like a, it's a disguise, isn't it? That's why it was called Mask. Suddenly, I don't want to deal with this guy, so I'm just going to run past him. I'm trying to figure out how there appears to be like a door, but only from upstairs. You know what? It might just be a different room. And then I'd have a mask from... Uh, Black Mask, which is a, a Batman villain, I think. Uh, and then I'd also have a... My mask room would have all kinds of masks. Uh, it would have luchador masks. Uh, there's lots of them. I'm in fact, I'm pretty sure luchadors have masks rooms. Uh, oh, hello. Hi, Tan. I was just discussing the existence. Oh, hang on. There's a basement. Oh, yeah. It's got this room in, isn't it? Uh, I was just uh, discussing to no one in particular the mask room. And I was thinking what masks I'd put in my mask room. And then I realized that luchadors do genuinely have masks. Like, if they go through more than one mask, which they do, you know. Like a t-shirt, right? You go, oh, I've been wearing this red t-shirt for a while. I put on a blue t-shirt. They do that with masks. Uh, but, like, there's also the blinding room, which is, like, a, a room entirely dedicated to... It's like a mask, which, which you usually keep in the mask room. I get that. Uh, but it's got stakes in the eyes. So you have to, you've you got to put it on really forcefully because it's, like, mask like that. Uh, and you, you, can't, you can't do that in the kitchen. Oh, what would the neighbours think? You've got to do it in the blinding room. You've got to dedicate the entire blinding room to the existence of blinding people. Hopefully we... It's to prevent the calamity, don't you know? Uh, no, but like, this is this is the third chapter, and I'm... You know, there's four priests that did the ritual, and a main priest, I think. So what? Like, I've got three bosses left? If we think about Kyrie, the dickhead that started this all, and... And the fourth priest. I just don't know where the fourth priest is. Um, uh, look, 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 he's, he's, oh, he didn't know where his head was. There's his head. It was, it was there. But sometimes it's not there. I get that. Sometimes I don't know where my head's at where, either. Um, so we are looking for...
that gravestone there. Oh, it's in the garden. Of course it is. I know where the gravestone is. I'm being an idiot. Go downstairs, John. I knew they were all outside as well. It's through the fucking... Um, Luke's favourite room. It's through the fishing room. It's where I, I'd keep all the seals there so they could stay underwater. They like being moist, don't they? Um, yeah, through the fish tank room. So you go. That's why there's blood everywhere because somebody went in to break the seals, and now they're just all like, "Oh, it's a hard life being a seal." No more clapping for us. Yeah, because it's full of sad seals. Fuck, fuck. Who, who makes seals sad? What bastards? Oh fuck! It's this. Oh, well, uh, fuck this dude. I'm gonna have to keep that, uh, I don't know how long since I've saved. Probably not that long ago, to be honest. Let's just load an earlier, but I can't just keep save scumming. It wasn't that much damage, it's fine. I mean, I totally can. I can totally keep save scumming, I'm gonna. Uh... Let's save my game on slot. <laughs> I, I used an actual save point, didn't I, after that fight? It's fine. It's fine. I'm not that far away. Um, uh, 8.57. We're probably on 9 by now. I'll be playing Clock Tower 3 at some point. Uh, it's, it's Calamity Square Garden! Right, we've got to have that entire conversation... Uh, I see. I never got to the boss. I got quite far, but never, never to the final boss. Uh, so I've got to do the entire joke about my gate again now, don't I? And then talk about the blinding room. Uh, okay, so we've got to run through here because it's. If I kill this dude. No, he only turns up if I wait in the Buddha room for too long. Just like real life Buddha rooms. If you stay there too long, man with a hat starts bothering you. It's a different type of hat, but it's the same principle. Right, so yeah, it's the fish tank room we're going to, and we'll save before we go into the... Yeah, that's a dickhead move room to put a fight in. Let's save our game using the uh, save state system. We'll go on slot 5. Which camera are we on? Uh, I think we're good with the medium camera because... Because I'm too lazy to fire up with a wicked camera at this point. Can I take a photograph of the whip? You can't double double tap me, wisp, you dickhead. It clearly can because it just did. I don't think it's a wisp, John. I think it's a ghost. A ghost. A wisp is a ghost. It's like a Scottish word for a ghost. It's fine. It makes sense. All right, other John. How many Scottish words for ghosts are there? At least three. Scots love their ghosts. Like Wraith, Eidolon. I don't know. I'm not going to double check any of this. <laughs> Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to walk away. Ha <laughs> ha. Can't find me now. Okay, he can totally find me now, but guess who's in the wrong room? He's in the wrong room. 
Okay, he's not in the wrong room. I've not thought this through at all. <laughs> so I just saw your your comment. Scots, another Scots. You Scots, you ghosts, you're our contentious people. Right, uh, every so often it just completely wrecks my uh, thing. Probably drains the battery. That's how it's ghost. It's attacking me with psychic um, drain battery things. Uh, oh yeah, I've just turned the battery off. Why can't I move anymore? Come back on. There we go. Scots, another Scots. My favourite thing about Wally is just he doesn't sound like any actual Scottish person, and it's, a, uh, which is, uh, it's fine because like, <laughs> that makes him more funny. Don't do that for all the accents, but it's fine with the Scottish accent. Okay, can we just run to the end of the room? I did leave the film. We'll get it later. Ghosts! Where did you come from, Wisp? Okay, okay, okay. You know what? I had a better plan, didn't I? I had a better plan. We'll just do that better plan. We stand in the doorway. If you want to fight me, you can fight me in here. In this room. He's a scamp, isn't he? I'm going to save my game here. Screw it. Oh, this, this is a much more comfortable fight. Um, even though I can't goddamn catch him. Playing peekaboo. He stops existing when I... Uh... Doesn't have object permanence like a baby. Peekaboo motherfucker. He's not actually taking that much damage off me, but I just can't afford to lose any damage at this stage. Alright, well, I mean, this is going to be a quick one because I, I, I need to do my power again. Gone! That obviously wasn't going to work. That was, my, that was literally my fault. Oh, I... Every time I do this, it's because I'm taking the battery out and putting it back in. It's, I don't know, something to do with the emulator. File, save as, live.
think, yeah, that, this isn't so bad. No, John, that's your expensive camera. God, I've been doing this for a while, haven't I? We'll save here. We haven't taken any... Di we haven't, like... Yeah, save on five. I don't respect the man who doesn't respect the existence of walls. <laughs> right, I did quite go well that time. That was quite cool, he did like a swing and a punch. Wisp army on me. Okay, they're not very strong wisps. It's fine. Uh, I think you finally took a photograph of your buddy. Okay, well that no, you got away from that one. Fuck, I haven't landed now. 360 no scope. Up, oh, I had him in as well. I just didn't didn't have faith in my scoping. That'll do. They don't call me the call of duty. I mean, it'd be a weird, it'd be it's it's a strange thing to call anyone, to be honest. Um. The cod. Uh, no, I mean that that's an accurate statement. Uh, Camoha. Do I have enough to level up my spook? I don't. Spook stays where it is. Say hello to the uh, moist seals. Hello, Chi. I'm taking photographs of ghosts. One, especially Mona Ghost. Apparently not keen on me. Oh, hang on.
Cool. So that's what made this difficult, was the fact there were two ghosts in the room. Lovely jubbly. Yes, I believe, I think... Uh, oh, these are the buttons for the characters. The device must open with the door. There's an engraving underneath, but it's gouged. You can only read some, but I can, I can barely just make out Malice, Souls, and Lost. I don't know. I'm gonna go for, let's say, uh, let's say one eight three seven, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Nothing happens. Looks like right. So what I'm gonna do is we can't obviously. We can't read notes and look at the door at the same time. It's physically impossible. One must turn away from the door before looking at notes. You fools. You foolish, foolish fools. Uh, so we're going to look at our scraps. No, no, I think I was right in the first place. We're going to look at the calamity. Oh, God. No, hang on. What did the door say? The door says Malice, Souls, and Lost. Must be the new Dark Souls game. Malice, Mal, Soul, and Lost. Right. This looks like one of those puzzles. You, there's a smiley face that you can use. You could this could you've got this smiley face you can use as well. Exploding. Remember that. Don't you forget. Uh, not the button I want to press, John. Okay. What do you mean, chat? You paused you to scroll. Bought one of these scrolls that I picked up. Uh, let's look at our file. We're looking for uh, a thing that says calamity. It'll... The calamity. Okay. One three four seven. One, three, four, seven. The door's unlocked. Right, we're well, quite close. No, don't turn around. Don't turn around, because I don't know the next lyrics. Um. I'm pretty sure the next lyric was don't turn around again, but oh look a will. Alright, take a shot every time I save my game. No. no. <laughs> Only via the official system. Right. We're gonna see if if the well has presence for me. Yeah, it said some words. That looks like a gravestone to me. You know what? I do appreciate some ghosts having, you know, spooking near save points. I like those ghosts the best. I don't know, I'm... I'm Maury. Oh, he's talking to Exploddy. But, um... I... Uh... Backyard is. Sure, we have the correct camera on. Save our game in the internal, in the external system. And uh, what I did? Why was she so attached to the world? There's uh, these questions and more answered in uh, this game. Oh, 
was that just thunder? That's not what you said last time. Okay, operation. Sort of stand still and then walk towards you and hope that that's enough. It's commencing. Okay, no, 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 no. This is a ghost with a baby. I like this one. He walks after you and after a while he lunges. I get it. He's doing a thing. Best ghost. Best ghost. I mean, he's he's not ven vengeance, obviously. Vengeance in Wall is the best ghost. And this one was, I guess, was easy. But, like, I liked that he had a behaviour that I could see and go respond to. Uh, looks like I've got the fourth letter. Cool. You ghosts, buddy. Oh, uh, there's a lid on it. Can't see inside. Okay. Uh... Save our game again. Hmm. I don't know if uh, Tan can... Uh, I'd ask Tan if she's interested in spooky horror games as well. Uh, she's probably kind of half on, half off streamer. Uh, uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to continue walking this direction. Because uh, it's a big old shrine. Seems like it might be important. I actually don't know where the game wants me to go. Is that a shiny thing? I believe now that the master's decision was a poor one. Uh, Kyrie has realized that we hid the guest. Kyrie is depressed and anxious. The day of the ritual is fast approaching. I hope and pray that everything goes well. Okay, going this way is entirely unnecessary, but I just figured, you know, check out the shrine. Lovely bit of shrine. Do you think the trees that without the little kind of ropes, uh, you know, feel feel a bit un underdressed? Ah, okay. We have two stone mirrors. We can now. Take damage during a fight, so I can use up one of the stone mirrors. Cool. A film. <gasps> Type 90 film! Type 90 film. Okay, that wasn't an invitation just to immediately take damage, John. Okay. Also, I'm gonna use this opportunity to, because uh, the screen is now full of writing, to read that thing. And that's totally why I'm exiting game and loading it again. Amori has subject matter that a cute cartoon aesthetic can't cover up. The heavy content may, might even be too much for steel hearted adults. This game could potentially give nightmares to younger children. It's something you can get them when they're older can handle the themes. I don't know about you, but like, horrific themes was something that as a child 
I was a lot more comfortable with than as an adult. Because like as a child, if you say ghosts, it's a dead person. Like maybe like not as a seven year old, but like as a teenager, like I don't know. Like I probably weight the weight of certain themes wouldn't hit me as hard as it does now. Let's just back out. Okay, I don't even know if I need to go in there, but I want... I might as well do the fight. There's, there, those look like... The, uh, unique enemies, at the very least. I mean... A part of the reason Vengeance in Wall is my favourite, just because I love the phrase Vengeance in Wall. Vengeance does come back, and I'm pretty sure Vengeance is a person, right? Uh, like, that's a consistent character. That's what I've probably read about. Looks like yeah, I'm I'm glad to head in the right direction. Bit unwieldy, but I think it does make sense. Uh okay. Where are the hug ghosts? Do they only appear once I try to pick up this thing? Level ninety film. Let's get the heck out of Dodge. Huh. It must be random. That's interesting. Can we go in here? Uh Yeah, but I'm not gonna use this film. Oh yeah, type ninety film, baby. This will be Takamine, yeah. He is well surprised by the developments. Okay, no, I don't need to be here, but... I've got a picture of Takamine again. Found out about a stone mirror in case I need one. Right, let's make our way back to the save point. And maybe read about what the heck we're supposed to do. Okay, the hug ghosts are here. Okay, they're the same ones from down in the mine, aren't they? Right, get off me, hug ghosts! I did try and summon your turn. Poor hug, children. Oh, I wonder if I've got enough to level up. I do! That's the item. Okay, camera, cam cam. Okay, does, does anyone know what the special function does? I can make a squeaky noise. But I, it, it's done nothing. It's done nothing the entire game. Bonus has been very expensive, and there's no reason to ever buy more than one because you only get so many stones. Uh, 24 max value. Okay. Uh, yes. Although that's a bit of a cheek because all the harder ghosts disappear really quickly. 
So, like, you can't get it to stack. And I'm on max speed. Like, I... I, I prioritise that. But, um... Yeah. I'm going to save using the external system. Slot 9. But uh, also, I'm going to go to the real safe one. But yes, stone mirror in the shrine if I need one. And I would skip to, like, the second one, but I like, I think I said it before, I sort of like historically experiencing games in the correct order, because I just sort of like to see how the technology changes as well. Obviously, one of the biggest uh, enemies in this game is the camera. Uh, th that's not me trying to be ironic. I mean, that it's, it's possible to get attacked from off-screen. Uh, there's at least one ghost that seems to teleport... To where the camera's pointing, uh, you know, it's like um, the angels from that show. What has those angels? Um, the Doctor Who, that's the one. Uh, or you know, wrestlers. Uh, if you've ever seen wrestlers, uh, if you've ever seen the wrestling, sometimes they do interviews. They say, "Hello, I'm a wrestler." A ha a hello, person who talks to wrestlers. Hello, I'm a professional person who talks to wrestlers. How's your wrestle day? Well, th thank you. It's, it's been lovely. And then they get attacked. But, like, they're always against a wall. So the attack has to come from that direction, that direction, or that direction. Three directions that your eyes are perfectly capable of seeing. The one direction they can't attack from is where the wall is. But you see... The thing about wrestlers is they live in a state of quantum flux. They don't exist if the camera's not pointing at them. Which means they can be attacked from off-screen. Even if they should realistically be able to see the people. As long as we don't see them, they don't exist. For the same reason, uh, whenever wrestlers watch other wrestlers on TV, they stand to the side because they don't want to erase the existence of the wrestlers on the screen. They're very polite. Um, and, you know, if, if you shove like a wrestler in a bin... And then drive to another town. Even though logically the the rest of them would have gone to bed. You know had a meal. Had a conversation about the uh, latest comedy they watched. Uh, you know. Stacked beans in the order of the most amusing looking. Like they'll come out of a bin in the next city. Like it's just it's just the rule. It's just because the, the energy must be maintained. Even if there was a period of a week between that happening. Anyway let's stop talking about the wrestling. Uh. Unless we see any wrestle ghosts, which oh my god, million dollar idea of wrestle ghosts. Write that down. Wrestle ghosts. Okay, I'm not sure what to do with that yet, but potentially there's a thing there. Uh, and uh, they, I, I think I'm gonna ban this person. There you go. He's been officially banned. Lovely. Uh, and we'll get back to where we belong. I have... Well, the conversation is still ongoing, Spody. What I've got is a situation... With three people in chat that were never here at the same time. You know, it's it's that game where one of you sits, one of you stands, and one of you kneels. But um, one of the quantum superpositions is that one of you be in chat and two of you don't be in chat. Oh, the bot. I mean, you mean? I'm I'm quick. I'm I'm, I'm my, my mouse is here. Uh, oh fuck! I just clicked something with my mouse. <laughs> don't click with your mouse. They need to be on that screen. My my mouse is here. It's it's gaudy as fuck. I bought a new mouse because the other one broke, and it's cool. It's the gaud. It's a Gordian knot of gaudy mice. Um, it's got all the colours. It's got blue, uh, green. It's got all the colours. Um, dark green. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I got the part immediately. Don't worry. Um. Once we're through this fucking room, and our favourite sound effect, 
What I enjoy about that sound effect is that somebody somebody knew that sound effect was repetitive, and they said, right, what we should do is we should randomise the pitch of the sound effect just so it doesn't get too annoying. Which is what's going on, by the way. Although that was the same pitch every time, but I swear it changes. Oh, no, 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 that was different pitches. It's very subtle, because it would sound really silly if there were actual different pitches. It's like... Milim. Tiny, tiny, like 0 0.04, whatever. It's actually... Reasonably good idea. You needed to, I guess, randomize the volume as well, maybe? So it wasn't just eh, eh, uh, 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 uh. so it was like eh, eh. you know just I don't I don't know something a bit less constant noises. Uh, anyway, let's read what the f heck we're supposed to be doing in our file. We've got four priest's writings, which means we've collected. Uh, hopefully, it's the calamity thing. Okay, so I get that these are all the doors now. Uh, five stones document. Oh, I forgot which note it is. <laughs> Somebody tell me which note to read. One of them. Okay, now it's something to do with the rit ritual. See that? See this? This? This note told me how to read the clocks, and uh, actually somebody in chat told me uh, because I thought it was uh, the game hadn't been translated because it it gets a little weird with the translations in this game. Some, sometimes it's just not the most suitable word in the world. But no, it, 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 actually it tells me how to solve the problem. But literally, this research note here tells me how to read that clock because it goes backwards zero to nine. Um, there, and it tells me the symbols as well. Uh, so yeah, reading the research notes is how you solve the puzzles in this game. But uh, there's a particular note I'm looking for, which tells me to find the four symbols, which is the thing I've just done. And I should have made a note about which note it is. Okay, it's not going to be the red notebook, because the no red notebook wasn't even researching that. Hellgate? It should be really obvious. Maybe I've got to go to the Buddha room. I'm just going to have to just look through every single goddamn note. It's not going to be the five Buddhas, though. It's going to be about the priests, surely. It's these. It's it's the research staff. I'm sure, certain of it. Uh. Moonshine seems like a good place to go then. That actually makes a lot of sense. Because we didn't do a lot on the moon shrine. Uh, also, there's a new one that I just apparently didn't look at. Oh, the cabinet and the moon well. 
Oh, that makes sense. I get it. It's um, so the well, the well points to the underground shrine. I get like the yeah, no, yeah, the map. I get it because the moon shines and it goes. No, 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 no it's, yeah. <laughs> it's like there's writing in this game or something. Uh, the moon well inside the moon shrine is hidden with a trick mechanism. The cabinet moves and opens up the entrance to the moon well when a certain routine has been performed. No idea how this is done. There's only a vague description about the trick device. Acquire the symbols from the four rope pullers and show the... Oh, I've got to go back. <laughs> I think... No cabinet. Show the seal. So it's gonna like it's not where I've been because it would ask me to show the seal. Opening the door requires the symbols carried by the four priests participating. Blah, blah, blah. The cabinet. Where's the cabinet? So let, let me. I, I believe I'm correct in this. The well here. Yeah, so there's a well here, and I think. Well, you know what? It doesn't actually seem to go here. Maybe I was wrong about that. Maybe there's a cabinet room. I'm just going to check out the Buddha room. I'm going to save my game. It's been a while. Had not actually been a while, it's probably... But I'm going to save my game anyway, on zero. There's a cabinet in the Buddha room, right? I know there's a man with a hat in there, but we'll have to deal with him. Just a poor unfortunate soul. Okay, I probably could have done that in two two snaps. But uh I've got a crawler ghost. I do not think this is the cabinet room. Save our game though. And uh go try and find somewhere significant. I mean there seems likely because it's such an important place. But it's the demon path and it's the do a demon tag. We're looking for moon stuff. It's the that's called the Abyss. That's the Moon Shrine. Should we just go back to the Moon Shrine? Let's go back to the Moon Shrine. So it turns out reading the names of the rooms are actually kind of useful. So there we go. What's good about the Moon Shrine is that's where I started the stream. Oh, hang on. If that's where the shrine is... Yeah, it is! That's where. That's what I thought. The moon shines down into the shrine. And the, the ritual... The ritual... The ritual. You take a picture of the ritual. It's a ritual. Uh, the ritual takes place in where it's, like, broken at the end of the band path. Yeah. That's the intention, right? Cool, I'm... Yeah. I'm a fool. Fool of a hook. I 
So it's doing the same thing here, where it's changing the pitch. Very subtly. And it's fine here, because it's quieter, and it's a kind of a less distinct sound. It's just really weird on the in that one room. Is it going to make me put the password in? No, what was it going to say? And then... Ooh, how's the volume, everyone? Put in slot one. I'm going to turn it up a little. The Sanskrit characters can be pushed like buttons. Well, there's only so many combinations, right? Uh, 4, 8, 12. 24 combinations. When I pushed the buttons, some device came off under the cabinet. How do I know which? Oh, I can just sort of push them all and one of them will be correct. Some device came off under the cabinet. That's kind of like a puzzle. Finally. Say, so, uh, I was about to say Shinto Japan. What, John? I don't know the historical periods of Japan. But what I was going to say was, ah, Japan, a hundred years ago, uh, and ancient Egypt, they do love their sort of mechanical devices that somehow exist for really long periods of time. Uh, maybe that's a bit I need to kind of consider and think about, um, rather than just say it out loud in the middle of the stream. doing. 